The 11th annual Asian Heritage Street Celebration returns to San Francisco Civic Center Plaza today, May 16th. Joining me today to tell us about this Pan Pacific Festival is the Executive Director of the Oakland Asian Cultural Center, Tamiko Wong, and Mindy Fong, owner of Jade Chocolates, one of the local vendors at this year's festival. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. So, Mindy, we got to get started making what you're going to make, which is called rice patties, yes. right? And, um, and then I'm going to talk to Tamiko about the festival itself. But what do we need to get started? To get started, uh, at home you can use a double boiler, which is a pan full of water. Mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, you put a, a bowl on top over it to melt the, hot, the chocolate. Right. Is that milk chocolate or dark chocolate? You can use whatever you want. And the oh. beauty of the rice patty recipe is that there's no measurements. Oh. So it's whatever you would like, dark white milk chocolate. And for your inclusions, you can put as little as, as you want, much as you want, and in in different combinations. Okay, so this is different from like typical, you know, Rice Krispie treats, which has marshmallows. This does not yes. have marshmallows. Right? So this is our uh, adult version of the Rice Krispie treat. Okay. So instead of marshmallows, we use the chocolate to bind all the ingredients together. Uh huh. And I originally made it to attract kids and families to come to my booth or wherever I was selling. Yeah. But um, the adults really love this. I see. And does it have to be a certain uh, type of chocolate or it can just be, you could just, I mean, you're not going to melt down a Hershey bar, right? Uh, I suggest getting a high quality chocolate. I prefer dark chocolate because the rice cereal is sweet already. I see. So it offsets. Okay. Sounds good. So you've already melted the chocolate. Uh, we, I pre-melted a little bit of the chocolate and I'm going to add more. Mm -hmm. Is that what, guitar or something? This like is that? actually Valrona, which is from France. Mm -hmm. So uh, the bowl will get really hot and steam will probably rise. Okay. So this is... Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to talk to Tamiko. So Tamiko, you know, you guys are in charge this year of the Asian Heritage Street Celebration, which is in San Francisco, because a lot of people might know you from Oakland Asian Cultural Center, right? Yes, that's right. So what's new about this year's festival? So this year, we're actually going to have many different things that are new. So the mm -hmm. cosplay runway is one. We're actually going to have people who are dressed up in their anime, manga, in inspired costumes. And that's one thing that's new. Oh, we're also going to have somebody who's doing ukulele. She may do an uk jam, which is really exciting for us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just different things. But we're also doing, you know, partnerships with people that we've had from before. Right. So CAM, Center for Asian American Media, is going to do films yeah. at the Asian Art Museum. And there's also going to be a free day there at the Asian Art Museum. So for those of our audience who have never been to Asian Heritage Street Celebration, even though this is the 11th year, uh, tell them what they can see. So let's see. There's going to be lots of performances. We've got mm. two stages, full, full lineups on both stages. We're going to have swing dance. We're going to have Emeryville Taiko coming, Gare Mongoli and doing their thing, but also some more modern things like Ben On, um, Cynthia Lin, and some other folks. Okay, and then are there booths as yes, well? Yes, yes, there's going to be plenty of shopping and also information from folks about healthy living and, and kids' activities, and we're also going to have lots of great food vendors, so we're really excited about those Oh, two. that's kind of important, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And food trucks, I assume, as Definitely, well, right? Yes, we have Curry Up Now, we have Kokio Republic, we've got... Oh gosh, so many different things coming. Cupcakes and mochi waffles, you name it. Mochi waffles, okay. Yes. Well, you know, so now we've got, let's go back for, you're gonna have vendors, obviously, yes, right? Like, like Mindy. Like Mindy and Jade Chocolates. And so let's get back to our rice patties, which look like this when they're, when they're sort of, you know, packaged. But are, is this like Rice Krispies as in the cereal? Or this is, is a rice something? cereal that you can buy just at the grocery store. Oh, okay. So now you melted your chocolate. Melted the gonna... chocolate, make sure that it's not that hot um, just till it's melted out. Why, why should it not be? Um, because it's easier to work with okay. and... Uh, I'm just asking in case anybody at home is <laughs> curious, okay. So again, no measurements. Mm -hmm. uh, you can put any inclusions that you want. Here at the studio we have roasted macadamias, dried mangoes, mm -hmm. ginger, cranberries, um, Coconut. coconut and tamari almonds, oh. sunflower seeds, and pistachio. And this is candy ginger, by Candy way, ginger, right? yeah. Okay. So the way we package and sell, we do mangoes and uh, roasted almonds. Okay. But for here, we can do whatever combination that we like. Oh, so you throw it in the cereal first, so all yes. dry ingredients sort of together. Yes. Right. So whatever you like. And I guess you could chop this up if you wanted it to be smaller. 
Uh, you could, yes. Okay. So make sure that the bottom of the bowl doesn't have any water. Okay. And you can pour your chocolate. As much as you want, I guess. As much as you want. Just do a little in the beginning, mm -hmm. just to coat everything. I think you're gonna need more chocolate. I, I will, yes. Tamiko's gonna say that. <laughs> like, yes. I think you need more chocolate in mm -hmm. there. Easier if you had a bigger bowl also. But I, what I like about it is that you don't have to necessarily measure, you can make it custom, right? You so can, you can make uh, different batches too. So if mm -hmm. someone has a nut allergy, you can do one without any nuts. Right. Oh, and that's the other thing about um, not having marshmallows, because vegetarians could eat this, right? That's right, yes. No gelatin in this. Mm -hmm. All right. So it's almost ready to go. Um, I like to do a fairly light coating. Hey, mm Tamiko, -hmm. at the festival, uh, the vendors like gay chocolate and stuff. Are there, like, arts and crafts type? Yes, oh, there's definitely. Vendor. So we've got one that I'm really excited about, the Ecosystems of Hawaii. They have these little things where you can buy um, uh, a little mini aquarium that takes care of itself with little mini shrimp. They're going to be there with us. Oh, cool. We also have, um, let's see, people like the um, sumo fish who's going to be doing their really great their like, custom design t-shirts. They're really awesome and fun. Oh, terrific. Great opportunity to go and shop. Oh, for maybe... Father's Day. Yeah, that's coming up pretty soon. Okay, so now you're just taking it and putting it in little clumps. Little right. clumps. Easier if you had an ice cream scoop, but you can do it this way as well, mm -hmm. um, as big as you want as well. Uh, and you should do this fairly quickly because the chocolate is going to want to set up in your bowl here. And oh. once you get all of the chocolate onto the parchment paper, you can put this into the refrigerator for about five minutes, mm -hmm. and it'll be ready to eat. In five minutes, that's yes. it? Wow, and then you get something that looks like this final product over here, right? Yes. Like, Tamiko is going to try because, <laughs> because she wants to. Yes, those are my favorites. So I'm going to have her <laughs> give it a try and give you her, you her honest opinion about how it tastes. And we want to really actually good. ask Mindy, too, what other products we have at Display down there? You have other products besides rice patties, right? I do. So we've been around for eight years, and we're known mainly for uh, our chocolate bars, which are all blended with teas and spices from Asia and the Pacific Islands, mm -hmm. uh, dark bars and milk bars. And then we uh, also recently added truffles, mm -hmm. so also with teas and spices from Asia and the Pacific Islands. Uh, we just also opened up a shop on Gary Boulevard and 6th Avenue in San Francisco where we added even more products. So we have 11 different flavors of hot chocolate there as well. Perfect. Well, Tamiko, Mindy, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. For more information about the 11th Annual Asian Heritage Street Celebration, log on to AsianFairSF.com. That's all we have for today. Of course, all guest information from today's show can be found by clicking on the Community tab on our website at KTVU.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week right here on Bay Area People.